Welcome to Destination Tips, you f***ing idiot. No! Before you go. Number one, don't use a phony Irish accent. Jumping straight in here. So we're talking about Ireland then, I guess? Yes, you messed up the order a bit there. They hate it when you imitate it. Phony Irish accent, as like any pl place you go to. But surely, if I if I don't use the accent, I can use their you know, common Irish phrases like "top of the morning" to you or something. Two, don't say "top of the morning" to you. Why? Because nobody uses it, <coughs> and you'll sound corny and stand out like a tourist. I don't want to stand out like a tourist if I'm visiting Ireland. Well, don't. As a tourist. Well, don't say "top of the morning." Nobody says that. Well, what about the leprechauns? Do they hate it? Three. Don't talk about leprechauns. The locals can't stand it, it's tiresome and boring and it will make you stand out like a tourist again. But what if I was 100% Irish? Four, don't <laughs> brag that you're 100% Irish. Even if both sides of your family are Irish, if you're coming from America, you'll be considered Irish American. But if I've got two parents that are Irish, doesn't matter if you're 100%. from America. Yeah, but you're from America, so it's Irish American. If you're from Ireland, you can say you're 100% Irish. But what right. if I kind of told them where my if parents are? If you explained it out, if you cleared up your mess afterwards, it might be okay. Yeah, because I'd say, like, well, my dad and mum's from um, Dublin, so that's why I'm visiting Dublin. Five, don't just visit Dublin. You'll miss all the lush green countryside. Mm. You'll definitely want to explore rural areas. Other cities and landmarks such as Galway, Belfast, Killarney National Park, Doolin and the Cliffs of Moher. Wait a minute, I haven't had lunch and I've always wanted to try the traditional uh, Irish corned beef and cabbage. Six, don't order corned beef and cabbage. Why? Well, this is not a traditional dish of Ireland. Everybody thinks it is, even you did. I did. This is a, it's a, a, a typical kind of St. Patrick's Day dish. Well, it was actually a creation made by the Americans. Oh. In Ireland, this meal doesn't really exist. If you do find it on a menu, you can be sure it's a restaurant that caters to tourists. Oh no, I don't want to be a tourist. Exactly. Well, I do, but I don't want to stand out like a tourist. Exactly. Oh, forget it. I'll just go for a pint. Okay, good. Yeah. So, are you with people? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, oh, you're yeah. ordering a drink just for yourself, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No! <laughs> Seven, don't skip your round. In Irish pubs, it's common practice to order drinks in rounds. If you're in a group of four people, each person in the in the group takes a turn mm. to buy a round. Right. Don't just go off ordering drinks for yourself. Selfish. That's not like back at home. Eight, don't compare Ireland to back home. Not only is it kind of rude, but locals find it very annoying to constantly hear how things like service, food, culture and people compare to what your home country is like. I suppose it's a bit rude. But there, there are a lot of differences though, because like when you're driving along and there's like random people waving to you, and I'm like, I don't know you. Nine, don't drive on the right! Ah, that's why they're waving. Yeah. But on country roads, when I was like in the middle, kind of, you know, and you pass someone and you get really close to them and they're like, what? what? That's because 10, don't avoid the finger twitch. While driving on country roads, it's common practice to raise your hand or a little finger twitch from the steering wheel. When you pass someone, it's a polite way of saying hello to oncoming drivers. Is that alright to do that? No, I don't think they'd see that. If you've experienced anything not to do in Ireland, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.